wins it clean. Sokolov back to Branstrom, across the left side, Abramov off a shot, save, rebound, and they score! And there it is. Logan with the goal! Sometimes it feels like it flew by, and then there's, you know, the weeks that they, they, they go on a little longer. I find uh, summer's been great. It's been super busy. Um, mostly just been staying at home. You know, we have a 16-month-old, so our hands are full with that. Uh, my wife and I just moved into a new house as well, so... We have a lot going on back home, but the, the weather back here out east has been pretty uh, pretty crappy all, all July, so um, there wasn't much activities done. So it kind of sucked, you know, the, that, that kind of went by fast in the sense of you just sat there and did nothing and, you know, hoping for a nicer day. But August has been beautiful, so, you know, it's tough to complain. You're not getting these days uh, in December, so it's, it's, it's nice. You know, earlier in my career, it was more, you know, work on skill, work on... Um, skating you know my first couple of strides and all that and, and now i'm at the point i find that you know everything needs work but it's more so making sure that i'm just ready and prepared to you know to go in and make sure i can stay healthy and maintain what what i do have for a full season now the seasons there it's a grind right with whether you're up top and you're you know traveling all over different cities or you're in the american league and you're on the bus going you know back and forth um it, for me it's about just getting in the best shape that i can try to get to camp and it's work ethic, you know, I, I mean, I, obviously it's, it's something that, you know, you either have or you don't, I guess, but um, I, with our summer skates, we work on a little bit of skill. We work on, you know, the little details, but it's more so game-like situations where we'll, we'll be put in picking up rims in the, you know, in the O-zone or D-zone, picking up pucks off the wall. Um, we do a lot of battling in the summer, which is, you know, it's not a lot of guys probably do, but it's, it's nice to stay in that game-like mentality where we'll play, you know, we only have about between 10 and 15 guys on the ice. So it's, we're playing full ice four on four right now at this, this time of the year, just conditioning, conditioning wise, it's, you know, it's good. And I think uh, for me personally, it's, it's more so that it's more so making sure that I'm in, in good condition. Um, like I don't, I'm not working on my toe drags or anything like that. It's not really my game. So, you know, I don't really need to be doing that stuff anyways. It's, it doesn't really translate for me. It's nice to be able to have that skill, if, you know, but it's more so for me as uh it's a simple game, so it's, you know, my, my skates in the summer cater to what I need to do. Uh, my offseason's changed a little bit. The last two summers, uh, you know, we have, a, we have a little baby boy now, so he's, uh, life revolves around him, which is awesome. You know, I wouldn't trade it for the world, but uh, when I can, I like to get to the golf course and, you know, have some fun out there with a couple of friends. Uh, golf games, I've only played about five or six times this year, but it's it's still there. It's, you know, it's still, uh, I, obviously there's some work to do, but I'm still pretty happy with where I'm at right now on the course. Um, but other than that, it's just, you know, doing things around the house, going out to hang out with friends. It's uh, most of my time now is either, you know, the gym rink and, and time with the little guys. So it's, it's good. I wouldn't complain at all. Yeah, last year was, um, you know, we were very fortunate to be able to play hockey, but you know, there was a lot of things that went on behind the scenes that, you know, people wouldn't see. And um, at that point in time, I would have had a six month old and I didn't see him for six months. You know, they didn't come to, to Ottawa. They just kind of, you know, it was would have been too hard of an ask for them to come to Ottawa and kind of stay inside for, you know, the hockey season. They weren't really allowed to do anything. So, you know, they stayed at home with, with our families, our parents, both our parents. So it was nice for them to be around that. But, you know, for me personally, it was, it was a bit of a grind just not being able to see my family at all but I, I think um to to adjust everything i think it's going to be great to to go this year and that'll change the whole perspective on you know hockey itself is when they're there and that's what you're playing for you know you're playing to to get to the nhl and to you know to live that dream but you're also playing to you know support your family and uh kind of experience everything that you do with them uh, you know this morning for instance i was on the ice and my, you know, my wife brought the little guy to the rink and it was just awesome to see him there just to you know, just seeing behind the glass, it was it was cool to be able for him to be able to experience that. I, I don't think I'd be able to do what I did last year ever again. But um, it was tough. You know, it's I guess they could say that if there was ever an age, it's probably that age. That you know, like they, the people were always say to me, "Oh, it's okay. He's not going to remember." Like I will remember. You know, I will remember not being out, being there for those six months. But um, you know, he changed so much, but he he still changes every day. And I, I think uh, I don't think I'd ever be able to do that again. So they're, they're coming for sure. I think it's hopefully knock on wood it's going to be a you know a more normal season obviously and you know get back to the way things always were um so it's not going to be bubbled like so they're not going to be stuck in the house you know if they want to grow to the store or something that they should be able to so yeah i actually can't wait you know that's what i was saying like summer 
kind of went by slow at some points, but fast in a sense that, you know, everyone's kind of slow. And so it went fast, just like, you know, it's summer, it always goes by fast, but slow in the sense of, you know, I just kind of can't wait to get back and get going now, you know, it's the end of August and you're, you know, two or three weeks away from training camp. So I think uh, I'm, I'm super excited. I think I've only played in Belleville once uh, as, a, as an away team. And uh, I remember it was actually an awesome atmosphere. It was, uh, it was a close game. I think it was like a high scoring affair. It was like a six, five game. I was with Manitoba, but um, it was a lot of fun. I mean, I didn't really get to experience the city. I'm not exactly sure. I'm just going by what, you know, people have told me and how nice the city is. And you know, I've been, it's been kind of compared to like my hometown kind of thing. So, which is uh, pretty cool. And I, I think I'll be very comfortable there. And so will my family, um, you know, I'm not a big city guy anyway. I like, I like kind of uh, uh, the small things in life. So, um, sorry, my wife's dancing in the background here. <laughs> She's just trying to distract me and it's working, but, um, <laughs> Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. I think uh, just being able to, we, we stopped in Belleville a couple of times this year on the way to Toronto on our bus trips for, for some lunch. And um, the whole setup that they have there for, you know, for the team looks great. I uh, you know dressing room, gym, um, you know, all that stuff. So it's going to be nice to have our own gym, you know, go to the rink and not have to go get a COVID test every day at a hotel and come back, work out, go to a practice rink, come back, go to the game rink for the game at nighttime. And it'd be nice to have a routine where, you know, everything's kind of the same every day. I think that plus the experience, you know, we had a lot of young guys last year and I think just the experience itself, whether we had to do that same thing again next year, I think, you know, with the players that it was the first time playing professional hockey came in and did a great job. I mean, obviously we started slow, but you expect that, right? And especially with, like you said, everything we went through, we had like a less than a week training camp kind of thing before the season started. So, you know, all things considered, it was, uh, it was a pretty good year, especially the back half of that, um, which is great to kind of carry over into this year coming up with experience. Plus, we, you know, we'll have our own home base. Everyone will be more comfortable. It's more of a normalcy as in a routine. Like, you know where you're going. You know where, which rink you're going to. You know, you know, you're going there every single day. That's that's it. You're going there. I think we'll be, we'll be very competitive. I think we're going to be, you know, pushing for the top of the, the league, hopefully. And it's... Uh, you know, that's what you go for no matter where you're at, no matter what league you're in, you're trying to win. And I think, uh, you know, the team that we iced this year is going to be very good. It'd be fun to watch, I think. Yeah, and I even wouldn't say it's not necessarily just to get through last year. It was it was a big year for all those guys. And, you know, even myself included, it was you learn how to, to adjust and how to adapt and how to lead, you know, how to follow through those things. There's a lot of things that happened last year where it wasn't the same, you know, and it was tough um, individually and tough mentally to try to kind of adjust to all that. But... You know, for this year, I, you know, I, I talk to, to Manor quite often, but we haven't really spoken about uh, the whole expectation side of it thing for as a team standard, but we know what we expect. You know, we expect to win. We expect to be one of the better teams. Obviously, you know, they went out and signed a couple of good players um, coming in. So I think, you know, we'll have some depth and I think we're going to have a really good team. And I, and I truly mean that. I think, uh, you know, as being a leader on the team, you know, one of the older guys, um, my job is to kind of, I'm still pushing, you know, I'm still pushing to make the NHL. Obviously, that's why we play the game. But, uh, you know, in Belleville, that's my job is to make sure that, you know, whether it's me, whether it's somebody else that ever gets called up, that they're ready to play in the NHL. But I think in order to develop, you have to, you have to win. I mean, if you learn to lose, it's, it's not uh, beneficial for anybody as an individual or as an organization. So I think, um, you know, Manor's done a great job down there in, in, in producing good players. And I think, look at all his, his teams he's had, his track record has been great. You know, they're, they're, they're winning teams. So, um, you know, it's good systems, good structure. And I think once we get, you know, off the ground and running here, I think it's, uh, we're going to have a lot of fun, but I think the fans will have a lot of fun watching it.